Alright, well, hi, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome for the first time. Hi, my actual name is Sierra, and I'm deciding to put that as my name because that actually is. You'll probably see a change of my actual screen name of YouTube too, because I definitely need to change that, and that is going to be one of my goals for 2019. So hi, as you can see from the beginning, well from the title actually, we are going to be talking about, well I personally am going to be talking about my goals for 2019. I feel like every year, you know, people make resolutions of how they want to be and do this, that, and third. I sporadically decide to do those things. So I've already kind of already started some of the things that I want to start for new next year. So yeah. So just tell you that it's already being planned so i have here just you know my resolutions i am planning on like putting this in my happy planner as like an actual goal and stuff you'll see a video on that and i think i created a really cute idea for that too so you'll see that and yeah i'm just gonna try to take my time and explain this so probably grab a snack it's going to be a long one because i wrote a lot of ideas and things so number one that i want to talk about is i want to finish a creative project and when i say this um i kind of have a little bit of an inability to finish anything yes and rewind my word of this year is going to be consistency I ask for consistency a lot in my life. I ask it a lot with my relationships and I ask it a lot with just things in general with myself and that's one of the things that I actually do fail at. So this year I definitely want to be more consistent as in I want to actually finish something as in I actually want to work on something and finish, follow through and you know and just to not give up. So that's why my word of this year is consistency because if I want somebody else to give me consistency but yet I won't do it myself then it really doesn't make any sense. So yeah like I said my number one thing is I want to finish a creative project and that goes with sewing and crocheting. So you know I already do this YouTube thing. I actually done YouTube way longer than I actually expected. Um, I'm about to come on to my full year mark. I'm about to come on my full year mark in February and honestly um, when I started I didn't know what time frame I would even have for it. I just knew that I just wanted to do it and I thought like after a while you know with other mini projects that I do I would just quit but I didn't and I kept going so I'm happy that that is still going and you know i'm still doing the damn thing planning i thought was going to be the same but i love planning i like writing down my ideas and my thoughts and all that stuff and just getting it out of my head that helps a lot with just keeping my um keeping things consistent and planned and together because whoo everything else is just not together and so sewing is one of the things I really like to do. I hate going to the store and buying clothes, but I don't mind buying fabric and just sitting down and well, I don't mind buying fabric, but everything else after that, I absolutely, I don't hate it. It's just time consuming. So I would like to once a month start a project and actually finish it for the month. If it takes me two months, then okay. You know, just as long as it gets done. So I have so much fabric left over from two years ago, like literally two years ago I have fabric from then. And I just haven't used it up. So I don't want to buy any more fabric or any more patterns or anything. I actually just want to sit down. I want to dedicate certain days to it. I want to dedicate certain days to these hobbies that I have. I think that's legit. Like I just really want to like sit down, create a project and finish it. Like even from a teenager, I have never like really finished a project. They always was, I wouldn't finish the ends of it or I just will start it and just not complete it. And I just really wanna do that. Next, I said this before, I wanna grow my relationships. And this one is a little bit fuzzy to me because I kinda wanna do it and I kinda not at the same time. And I guess that stems off from like anxiety and other things or whatever, but I know that my relationship with um, family, friends, and things of that sort 
are totally non-existent i literally go home after work and just chill there until the next day and then somehow it becomes the weekend and then i'm doing the same thing over and over again and even now it's to the point that like if my friends do text me or whatever i do not reply back i see it and i be like nope and i do not reply back and it's rude but at the same time it's like i just don't want to do anything and that can stem off too to be a form of depression when normal stuff that you used to be excited about just doesn't um excite you anymore and i talked to my grandma about that too like normal stuff just doesn't excite me anymore like i can literally be walking around a store which used to bring me excitement and i would just become so bothered that would leave out the store and go back home and just chill like it just doesn't and i guess i can come back to the third thing that i want to work on is my mental stability my mental stability is it's corrupted I can say that it's corrupted um i'm getting anxious just telling me this like look at this look at this it's corrupted i like i said i mainly stay to myself so if i'm thinking and talking to myself all the time like you know blah, i don't feel like my thoughts to myself are very positive either i try to make them positive but um at least 80 percent of the day is negative like it just is like i don't know what else to say to myself and even at night i'm starting to stay up a lot longer um when i was like conscious and actually working on myself like i could go to sleep like that but now it takes me at least three hours of being in a bed after my son goes to sleep for me to even be um even sleepy and tired and then i wake up the next day and i gotta rush out the door because i have already fallen behind on my sleep of the night before so i really just want to work on my mental stability um one thing i have started implementing is this journal that i showed you earlier so i don't know if i'm going to write in it day by day but whenever just something is like really on my mind i plan on going to here and just writing it down and just getting it out there in some form but eventually i do want to start going back to therapy um i feel like that helped some i just really want to find a therapist who is willing to um connect with me and communicate and not just sit there and shake his head shake his or her head and just be like okay i want like real feedback i want real ways to like obtain goals and think about stuff and other ways to think about stuff and you know god is stuff. i want i want criticism back but good criticism that's basically what i'm going to be looking for in a therapist again and it's all provided through the military too so it's not like i have to pay for it and then four is selfishness i know that sounds weird because i say i want to grow and be consistent and everything but i also don't want to be doing stuff to just be doing it i want to be like will this benefit me is this helping me is this you know just doing anything for me so i still want to have time for myself at the end of the day i still want to have time for myself i don't want to really be worried about other people like that or whatever if i need that time to myself because i do get overwhelmed like i am starting to get overwhelmed very quickly um then i have to just say no and because also i got promoted at work so i have a lot more responsibility well i'm going to have a lot more responsibility this year too and I'm going to have to learn how to say no because I'm going to be in like a leadership role. And with that leadership role, like I know that I have to be very leaderish or whatever. But I still want to be a humble leader. So, you know, just balancing those two. I got to make sure that people don't walk over me, but also make sure my workers, you know, see me as a leader, as their boss, but also has respect for me at the end of the day. So that's what i'm going to be working on too because i'm easily can be like mm -hmm, yeah whatever i'll take care of it myself blah blah but no if it's too much on my shoulders and then i have to go home and be a mother too i'm gonna say no because no i'm already practicing no okay and then i also want to grow my social network so on my instagram and my youtube i just want to grow so with youtube i would like to i have 51 subscribers right now i would love to grow 50 more for the year and you know i think that's a good number to say if i don't get that many oh well i just really want to like at least post three to four times a week 
I want to be creating content that I love. I want to get better with my editing. I want to upgrade my lighting because I've because now how I have everything set up, I can literally use another light right here because there's a light right here, but I need a light right there or whatever. I just want to upgrade. I want to shift everything. I'm learning how to use my camera now for Instagram. So my Instagram pictures are going to be more popping. I'm not going to be using my, you know, my, I, my phone. This is a Samsung 9. You know, and at first, you know, I was like, okay, cool. But then I was trying to take pictures with it, and I was like, no, this is not the quality I need. I'm taking too much time blending for it to just look smeared all together. So I'm learning how to use my camera now. I just learned about self-timer, which is really sad that, like, I didn't know about self-timer. So I just learned that, and now I'm going to be trying to learn how to, like, switch it from, like, camera to phone and do this that and third listen i am not tech savvy but that is my plan this year to become tech savvy Alyssa ashley she has she is so tech savvy she believes in the quality of our work the quality of her pictures and she believes in that so that's basically what i'm working on the quality of everything so i mean this probably won't be the last bad video but hopefully by the end of next year it can be like a whole lot more better i'm like i keep switching around my setups and stuff as you can see throughout on my videos i'm always switching up my setup but i kind of like this i just need more lighting in this room so yeah i really want to decorate my home my home looks very plain right now and i do plan on staying here for the next two years it's two years here uh yeah so july of 2020 i want to be in this apartment or maybe even longer. It depends on. I do plan on re-enlisting. I already know that. So we'll see where I'm at in the year 2020. But I really want to decorate my home. I would like my room to be have some freaking pictures. The same with my living room. It has no pictures on the wall. My bathroom is a little bit plain, but it's almost there. And the bathroom is actually already set up. They're already organized to how they want to be. They're already decorated to how I want them to be. But everything else, my home, oh, my kitchen is fine. My kitchen is good or whatever. But the rooms and my living room, they can all be upgraded. And I already have a video about my sinking funds of me, you know, what I want to save for and all that stuff. So that is within that of me decorating my home and the budget I have set for that. So make sure to go check out that video too of my sinking funds and how I plan for that. So like I well, moving into the next subject of me, you know, having the sinking funds is I want to talk about my debt. So my goal this year is to clear away $10,000 worth of debt. And that includes me putting an extra $500 a month just because towards debt and paying the regular minimum amount that's on my debt. So it's minimum payments, an extra $500 a month, and whatever else I have left over. So at the end of the year, plus my taxes. So at the end of the year, I want to have at least $10,000 of my debt gone so that will be at least a halfway part a halfway mark and that honestly is my minimum i want to actually strive for fifteen thousand. i really want to do that especially with me getting a pay raise the, the middle of this year and i don't want to like um put something extra in my bills because i already hate paying bills so i don't want to use anything extra so the pay increase that i do get i want to put that towards my debt too so I really, really, really want to either hit between ten thousand and fifteen thousand dollars of my consumer debt paid off, and just you know, striving for a new goal. Cause I have even bigger plans for two thousand twenty. I've actually made a short-term goal vision board, and it includes me being debt-free, me working on my YouTube, getting a new car, and getting a house. And that's within the next five years. So I'm saying like this year, I definitely want to be $10,000 to $15,000 lesser. You know, with that, I want to have each month 10 days of no spend. So no spend is when you spend absolutely no money on um, nothing that you don't need. So groceries, though, you can pay for gas, yes, your kids. Um, depending on what that is, not like a toy or anything, but like, oh, my child definitely needed this, or you definitely needed that. Like, you definitely needed 
something for work something for work not your nails did those are no spend days for me so i want to have 10 days a month of that of me just you know not need anything like today i did it other got off of work came home cook my own food because i already you know i bought groceries for the week all right so even though i have 10 days of no spend days i do want to get out at least twice a month and do mother and son activities so if two of them are free that's good if one of them is free that's good if we decide to go to the movies that's good but two days a month i want to have quality time with my son i don't really i feel like i don't really get that much time with him because once i do get home i'm literally like cleaning up prepping for dinner prepping, prepping for bed editing something hobby-ish like something so i would really like more quality time with him he is getting older these days are not standing still at all so i would just really like some more quality time with him at least twice a month and obviously the most biggest one that everybody does every year is i want to lose weight but i rewrote mine to say i want to get in military standards i am technically in measurement standards <clears throat> i'm not over the measurement standards and it means um our hips cannot be more than 35 inches um but i would like to be in weight standard so i am 5'3 and my maximum weight is 152 right now i'm at 165 and i would like to be a solid 150 and then after that i want to bulk up it don't make no sense but i want to get lean cut i want to lose the weight first and then i want to tone out I also want to have a excellent PRT. So if you have an excellent PRT, as in you're, you know, you, you qualify really good on your fitness scores, you only have to take it once a year. Right now we take it twice a year and we take it in March and then we take it in like September or sometime like that, whatever. It's like spring and then fall. We're just freaking time, six months apart each time. But I would like to just get an excellent for the first one and then not have to worry about it for a whole year. I mean, I think that's pretty decent because it's not like I'm just going to be like, oh, I got excellent and I'm going to fall off and eat, binge and do whatever and not work out. I actually like to work out. I see it as honestly self-therapy or whatever, because if you, no offense to me, if I look good or whatever, then I'm going to feel good, especially when I wake up in the morning and see myself naked, like, duh. But yeah, some educational way. I would like to read 12 books this year. I don't really read books at all. I did find my Kindle though, and I bought one book, and then I read it for like two days and put it down. But I really would like to read a book. Oh, I did read a book this year. I read one book. I read one book this year. I really want to move to 12, so that's literally one book a month. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I also want to get closer to God this year. I mean, the who who doesn't? I really do. I already go to church, but I really want to do um, Bible and coffee. So you sit down with your coffee, and then you read the Bible, and you write your scriptures down in my planner. I do have a faith planner, but I just don't use it. But I always wanted one, and then I got it, and then I wasn't doing what I needed to do with it. But I still go to church, and I still have my prayers, and I still greatly, greatly believe in the Holy Ghost of God. And yeah, I just want to grow my scripture re reading with him. I want to do the one year Bible reading. Um, it comes in like these little books and it has three months worth of reading. And then, you know, each day you read something else. So I'm, I have that. I just don't get up early enough in the morning and do it. And then at night I forget all about it once I get home. And then I don't do it. So I really would just like to do that. Honestly, I would just like to actually wake up on time. Just try for twice a month actually waking up on the time that I need to wake up. Because right now I'm tired. And then also I want to incorporate um, the Law of Attraction. I did get that book. And I think I did read it. I read some of it. Where, but basically it is what you put out there into the earth is going to come back to you. So if I'm up here being negative all the time, guess what's going to come back to me? Negativity. But I want to totally redirect that and become more positive. I want to become so much positive. Um, when I wanted 
my promotion I put it so much out there in the air that like I was like I know I'm getting it like I only need to do I ain't even need to even re-question myself I was like I know I'm getting it I know I am I know I upgrade it and then boom I upgrade it whatever I was like I just I was like I just knew and that's what it says too in the readings that like you have to act like you already got the position so <laughs> I just thought, like, oh, I'm at like I got a million dollars, bro. I'm at like I already got a million dollars. I was like, all right, I'm already gonna act like I have a new car. I'm already gonna act like I made a promotion or I am who I am. I'm already gonna act like I'm this, that, and the third. And I'm not gonna be cocky with it. Or I'm just gonna put it out there that like the position that I want already is what I'm gonna get. Just like right now, I'm just like, you know what? I know the type of relationship that I want to be in. And I'm already putting my, I'm already trying to make steps towards myself so I can be within that relationship because I don't want to keep bringing in the same energy when I know I am worthy of more and I deserve more. So putting that out there into the world that like, you know, somebody's not going to come in and waste my time or just be giving me 25%, that is what... I'm going to be putting out into the world that you got to give me all or nothing because I'm trying to give somebody else all or nothing. And I'm trying to build and I'm trying to progress. I'm trying to entrepreneur. I'm trying to be overall just happy and content. So yeah, that is all I want to talk about. I hope you like what I brought to you today. I know it's kind of a lengthy um, video, but I just really need to get this out because... I'm trying to write it out on my planner, but I was like, no, I got to talk this out and get it out there so I can look back on it and just, you know, really focus on it. Because sometimes when I hear this stuff, I am more in tune with, um, well, sometimes when I hear it and see it, I am more in tune with, you know, getting it in my mind. What is it called? Like visual learning or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm a visual learner. So, talking to myself, visualizing this, if I need to look back at this video to get back the idea of what I'm planning on doing this year, I can always, you know, go back to that. It's like visual evidence. So, yeah, you guys, that is it. Please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me some comments. Tell me what your resolutions are. Tell me what your plans are. If you don't like the word resolutions, take plans because overall, you know, we're planner people. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and bye.